What's going on guys? So today we're gonna to talk about Garmin Defeat when we're dry fire practicing, right? So I see a lot of people on social media practicing their dry fire, defeating that Garmin, getting that gun out, even doing reloads and target transitions and all that is great. I'm a huge advocate of dry fire and all the good instructors out there are too and we highly recommend it. Um, but today I just wanna talk about defeating the Garmin because I don't see a lot of that happening on social media. There isn't a lot of instruction there and I just wanna give you guys some food for thought on Garmin Defeat uh, that way you guys can you know think about these things and maybe practice and it may even kind of influence what you wear on a daily basis so today I'm just I'm just wearing a t-shirt a lot of us a lot of us guys we wear t-shirts all the time and so t-shirts are ideal for Garmin Defeat because they have so much give right they can pull in any direction they stretch and all that good stuff and so it's easy to get to that garment however when it comes to t-shirts, there's a couple things we need to think about. One is the length of the t-shirt. This is a pretty short t-shirt for myself. It barely covers the gun holster and sits over my belt line. So it's ideal for, for garment defeat. However, if you have a longer t-shirt or if you have a tighter t-shirt, you may want to consider where you're actually grabbing that material from and where you're defeating that garment from. Because if it's longer and I grab high and I pull up, I may not have enough material or clearance here to get to that gun without, you know, basically doing one of these, grabbing it, grabbing the shirt with my shooting hand. So if it's a longer t-shirt, you may have to grab lower. You may have to grab over the gun, maybe slightly below the gun, over your crotch or whatever, in order to clear enough material to get to that gun and clear that gun. If it's a tighter t-shirt, it's, it's the same thing. Where do I grab this tight spandex material or this fitted material? Where do I grab it from in order to get a good defeat? So that's, that's t-shirts and really the only consideration there for t-shirts is the length and also the tightness down here. See mine kind of flares out and blouses out right here at the bottom. So it's ideal, okay? Let's talk about ways of grabbing that t-shirt. So in this case, we have a couple different ways, a couple reactive ways really in case we're reacting to a situation that's time sensitive. The snatch and pull or the snatch and lift is actually my favorite and probably the most common one that I see out there. It's really just kind of patting my stomach. It's this motion. So my left hand comes in and grabs that material. My right hand comes in and, and grabs that gun. And then they, you know, they got that good marriage and I present out at that point, take the shot. But it's really this motion. I'm not doing any sh shoulder swaying or any kind of funky movements. I'm really just isolating everything on my torso and I am just going for that gun using my elbows to do all the manipulations and all that, and my hands to do all the grabbing. I'm not dipping with my shoulders or any kind of direction, okay? So that's the snatch and grab, it's here. Snatch and grab, again, depending on how long that t-shirt is, you may have to practice where that snatch is, okay? So again, for me, I can really grab this shirt from anywhere since it's so short, so I'll do a couple more. One more. Okay, the next method is the rake method. So it's basically essentially just raking that shirt from the bottom, right? Now, if you have a tight t-shirt, that's gonna be very tough, especially like spandex, Under Armour, stuff like that. If you have a long t-shirt, that still may be tough depending on how long that t-shirt is. But if it's a shorter t-shirt, and again, if it kind of flares out at the bottom like this, it's easier to rake. So it's basically, essentially, I'm just coming up with my fingers and I'm grabbing that material from the bottom and hooking it and then getting to that gun, getting marriage, presenting out. So let's try that a couple times. I personally don't like this method. I'm not, I'm not saying that it's not the best method or it's the worst method, I'm not saying that. I personally just don't prefer this method because it's a little bit harder to actually sit there and rake and hook the shirt versus just grabbing material here, snatching it, crunching it, and lifting it. But that's just me. We'll do a couple more. And so there is a higher chance of you missing on a rake. There is a higher chance. I've already missed a couple times or missed once and fumbled the other. There's another miss, right? So it's kind of where you're hooking, and but it takes practice. And you may not like it after a few tries, or if you, if you see potential in it for you, then I would continue to practice that method. And you could probably really refine uh, the mechanics of that rake. 
The last one is a little more proactive. I'm not saying this is the only way, may, uh, only way to be proactive with a garment defeat, but it's, again, paint the scenario <clears throat> as a situation that's developing and you may have to draw this gun. So you're just being proactive about how you get to that garment. So whether you're kind of coming in with that rake and you're sitting there like this, or if you're coming in with your thumb and you're just hooking your thumb underneath the garment, that way you can just lift, right? Got, get, that, get that gun out and then go to, go to work. Or if you're sitting here and you're kind of using this raking method and you're just sitting here like this, maybe with your hands in your pockets, right? Something like that. And then you come out. So being proactive in your garment to feet is really just what makes sense to the garment. But since we're talking about t-shirts, there's really a couple ways to do that. One, it's kind of like hooking it with my thumb, right? And lifting that hook up or two, kind of raking it with my fingers and then, and then getting a, not necessarily a rake, but you've already raked and grabbed the shirt. And now you're just kind of waiting for that moment where you may have to defeat that garment and get to that gun. So there you go, guys. Again, like I said, practice a few minutes every morning or, or night or whenever you step out the door. Whatever you're wearing, practice. See what it feels like. See what those restrictions feel like, right? And, uh, and how you can maybe make it easier for yourself. For example, on a button-up button shirt, maybe undo the last button at the bottom and give yourself more of an opening. So little things like that may help you in your dry fire. But that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys next time. Cheers.